All right, there is my awesome home sales rock stars. All right, happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful day here at Home Sales Palm Beach. I hope you guys are making the best of it. Um, it's Friday, December 18th, 2020. What a crazy year it's been, I know. Um, but I want to come at you with a quick training video, okay? This won't take long. I'll try to hold your attention. But what I wanted to chat with you guys about is app files, okay? Uh, this is going to be a little bit geared more towards the newer agent. So um, this is kind of a lot of questions we've been having lately, uh, Didi and myself, is adding and editing fields, okay? And what I mean by that is you receive a contract in or you have a contract, whatever the case may be, you need to make changes to that uh, and how to do so on that contract. So for example, uh, you have a listing, you're receiving an offer, uh, that say the price is a little bit lower than you want or the terms aren't what you guys are looking for. You're going to add strike throughs on those values that you're changing. You're gonna add text to those values and, and input your values as far as your calendar. And then you're going to add your seller's initial boxes. Same goes for a buyer. You place an offer, the seller comes back and pounders and does the same thing. Um, you're gonna have to add initial boxes. So I just kinda wanna go over that. If you're an experienced agent, you know how to do this, great. Uh, you can zoom on by, no problem. We're gonna be uh, uploading a lot more of these videos uh, you know, coming up soon. I know we've been a little quiet training wise just because of COVID. Uh, the in-person office stuff has been kind of shutting down. But as of January 1st, we're changing that. We're going to do weekly in-house meetings um, with our amazing affiliates, Sean and Olivia Bachelor with Producers Title and our amazing lender, in-house lender, Lisa Heeman with Home Team Lending. All right. So anyways, let's go back to the training. Let me do a screen share with you guys real quick. And again, we're going to go over app files. Like I said, this may be geared more towards the newer agent. That's fine. Uh, newer agents, please watch this. And then uh, we will go from there. So let me add this. All right, let me do app files and I'll bring you guys to one of my properties. Let's just say a listing, okay? Actually, let's do this, I'm sorry. Okay. So this is a, a listing that I currently have off market. So I can use this to kind of show you what's going on. All right. So I received in this contract on my listing. Okay. They gave us a purchase price. You can see it wasn't executed again. We are off market, but you can see we received a purchase price of $340,000, $3,000 in escrow within three days. They're going to do 96 and a half percent financing. Okay, so this would tell me it's an FHA, three and a half percent down, right? And then their balance closes 8,900, okay? Closing date of January 13th. So say this is my listing and I come in and I receive this contract in, okay? My, my purchase, or excuse me, my sellers state, okay, Greg, our number is 350,000. We will sign it at 350,000, okay? I'm gonna cancel, I have an active signature request out for this, so I'm gonna cancel it. So newer agents, you can do that. So we'll just go cancel, cancel, boom, okay. So we're back to the contract. Greg, I want 350,000 for the property. No problem, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna to go to actions, and you can see the drop down. We can print it, we can download it, rename it, the whole nine yards, all right? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to add edit fields. Okay, you're gonna see this drop down over here, sidebar, if you will, and we're going to be sending this back to the buyer's agent, the selling agent. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strike through this 340,000, and to do that, I can see my tabs over here. I have add new elements, a text, a paragraph, a checkbox. I can add initials, so I can add any initials. We'll get to that in a little bit. Same with the signature boxes. And then here I can add a strike through, okay? So since we have a single line, we're gonna click it. We don't need to click it and, and drag it or anything like that. We can click it once. And then you can see the cross. I'm gonna put that, whatever value I wanna strike through, I'm gonna put it over, okay? Boom, I click it. And then I can see the strike through, okay? Now you can see how it, it comes in one size. So what you can do is you're gonna click on it, See how it changes to yellow? 
that allows you to move it. That allows you to kind of play around with it a little bit so I can move it down here if I want to. But again, we're gonna strike through 340,000. When it's yellow like that, I'm gonna to come to the side and see how that goes into an arrow. I'm gonna hold it and pull in. That way I don't take up too much of the screen, okay? Space is uh, valuable on these contracts once you start striking through and adding initial boxes. Um, all right, cool, so I have the strike through. So the next thing I, got, I have to do is I have to change the price. So I'm gonna come up here to add a new element, okay? And I'm gonna click text. Again, I can click it once, and then I can put in that text box where I want. I click, you can see how the text element comes up. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna put in 350,000. Click create, boom, there it is, okay? Now remember again, I click on it once, it turns yellow. I can move it wherever I want. I'm gonna make it as clean as possible. So I'm gonna put it right there, and just click off screen here, and you'll see it go blue. So perfect, so I have the strike through of my 340,000. I added the $350,000 price point now. Now, any changes on a contract have to be initialed, okay? Any changes, it doesn't matter what it is, where it is, any changes have to be initialed, all right? So with that being said, I can't leave this and just have my seller sign and go, hey, we're executed contract, right? I have to add initial boxes in there. So what to do that, I'm gonna to come to the add initials page. Okay, I'm gonna hit this drop down, and it's gonna give me the option. So see all these options I can choose. So as my sellers, I have two sellers up here. So for seller one, I'm gonna click seller initials. Now on initials, you don't have to display initial dates, okay? So again, you don't really have to worry about that. Like I said, when you start making changes, it kind of gums up the contract. So kind of less is best uh, when you're making changes. Really the only time I'd, I'd like to see a date is next to signatures. So anyways, we have seller initials. We're gonna click place initials. Again, we don't have to drag it. We just click it once. And I'm gonna put seller one initials right there. Okay, now I can click this again, move it around, put it where I want. I'm gonna kind of put it over here to make it clean. And I'm gonna put the line for this, the initial right on the dotted line, just to make it clean. I'm gonna click off screen and it saves. Now remember, I have two sellers. So if I have one seller, I'm good to go. I can move forward, but I have two sellers here. So I'm gonna go back to the initial box, hit the drop down, click seller initials two. I'm gonna click place initials, and then I'm gonna put up wherever I want. So right there, perfect, and that's a good spot. Again, I can click on it, move it around. No big deal, it's in a good spot. Uh, every now and then you'll click off of it when you move something initially, and it's gonna ask to save change, you just click yes or click save changes, excuse me. So now that's good. So we have the strike through of 340,000, we added in 350,000, and now we have our seller one initial box and our seller two initial box, okay? Great. The next thing we're gonna do, your values will change off that, right? So a lot of agents, uh, not in just in our office, but everywhere, they'll just change the price. But remember, when you're changing the price $10,000, other values will change, okay? So we can figure off of 340,000 at three and a half percent, that's 11,900. So that's, we can see 3,000 plus 8,900, that's the three and a half percent down. So I'm gonna have to change those numbers, right? So if I do 350,000 at three and a half percent, now they're gonna have to bring 12,250. So I can leave the 3,000 initial escrow and I can, you know, add in another, um, thousand dollars or whatever the difference is i can add it in at the additional deposit or i can just add it to balance the close but that would happen the same way okay you'll do your strike through you'll add in your text box and then you're going to do your initial boxes okay so that is how you make changes on a contract for any values this could go for anything on the contract if they misspelled the seller name the buyer name we see that a lot if any of these values are incorrect any dates need to be changed. Uh, it, anything on the contract that is going to be changed has to have strike throughs, have to has, excuse me, has to have the new text and has to have initial boxes. Okay. So that is through app files on how you make the changes. You can see if you need to add signatures, same thing, drop down, seller signature one, seller signature two, I can click it. And then for this, I'm going to place 
signature date, okay? So the next thing I would do, say this is good to go, I changed all my values, just to keep it shorter and simpler. I'm not gonna change any of these other values, um, but you guys, like I, re, you know, to reiterate earlier, uh, these values will have to change because this price went up 10,000. However, we're not gonna do that just for this training. So I'm gonna close out. Remember, anything on app files, you type in, you change, it auto saves. So I can close this out, no problem. I can, if I wanna send this off later, no problem. You can see that the changes are here already. So the next thing I'm gonna do is request a signature. So request signature, start a signature request, and then you can see your prompts, okay? I'm gonna to have to initial seller signature one, seller initial one, and I'm gonna to have to put in the seller's name up top, next, and then it's gonna bring me to the email. Click my email, and then I hit next, and then it's gonna notify whoever's checked here, it'll have your name checked, and then myself and Didi, you don't have to check us, um, we don't have to know every time a contract gets signed or anything of that nature. We only need to do and see request signatures for, you know, certain items, DAs and stuff of that nature. So the next step I would hit request signature and myself is the agent. So you, you will receive an email showing that there is a request signature out. All right. So that's how you make those changes and strike throughs on any type of contract, addendum, any type of form on app files. That's how you do it, all right? So as always, if you guys need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, reach out to myself, reach out to DD. Um, we're gonna be populating a lot more videos on our YouTube, so keep a lookout. I'll throw them up on Home Sales Family all the time, and then once our amazing Home Sales Portal site is done, you guys will jump on there whenever you want, and it will be there, all right? So have a good Friday. You guys, let's go out there and crush it. Let's have a great holiday season, but in the meantime, Call us at Home Sales Palm Beach if you need anything at all. All right, guys, we'll talk soon.